I, you know, you are um, a music video, you come from music video directing, and then Sean comes to you and says, you know, let, let's do this. What was your initial reaction? How did it all come together? So, you know, I never made a feature documentary before. So um, I was learning as I was going. Um, but for me, you know, the intent was always just to make a sincere and honest portrait of, of him and the world in which he lives in. Yeah. So I, you'll notice that the first thing we did was I, I developed a trust with John where I could, um, uh, where he feel comfortable with me being around because you'll notice, I mean, you've seen the film, but I'm, I'm yeah. close to him. Often. Yes. So I had to, he had to start to feel comfortable with me around so that he would allow me to sort of just like be almost over his shoulder to see the world so that the audience could see the world through his eyes um, in a way that felt, I think, exhilarating and illuminating, you know? Absolutely. I mean, it looked to me just watching it um, that pretty much nothing was off limits. Did you guys kind of sit down and discuss, okay, we're not going to go there, but we're going to go here, you know? I mean, you even opened with a shot of him in the shower, for goodness sake, you know? And it, to me, it was like, okay, this is all access, you know, this yeah. is no holds barred. <laughs> <laughs> we never actually had that discussion. Uh, the only thing, you know, before we began, Sean just said, you know, to shoot everything. And that was what, and that, that was it. Like, that was the extent. And even if I say, he's, you know, he, I remember him saying, you know, even if I don't, if I, if I look at you, like, I glare at you, like, get out, you know, just don't stop, just don't stop. So once we had that understanding, there was really nothing off limits. Yeah, so like I said, you you embark on this tour, you know, what, 109 show tour, it's going for nine months around the world, you know, that, that alone is a ton of pressure, never mind having a documentary following you around and doing all that. You, of course, as a documentarian go, okay, great, I'm going to do this, we're going to follow him on tour, it's going to be him and his fans, yada, yada, and then you can never anticipate what is going to happen. And then what happened to Sean with his voice? It's devastating to watch that whole process. What was that like for you? Uh, you know, making this film, watching him go through this. It was pretty, um, it was a startling experience because, you know, up until that, when we were filming the documentary, you know, things were happening, but nothing that uh, traumatic, really. You know what I mean? So that was a very interesting experience for me because you know, the part of me that cares for Sean and is friends with Sean yeah. wants to, you know, cut and say, give him some space or say, hey, man, everything's going to be OK. But then yeah. the part of me that has to be an objective filmmaker is just grateful for the, that this happened so that the audience can watch this very dramatic and climactic thing in the movie. Mm -hmm. And we really just had to had to remove ourselves from the room almost to be invisible. Um, but it was it was certainly. Um, intense that day to watch because we weren't allowed you know we're not we're not speaking we're just witnessing yeah. unfold so that we could get the most authentic and genuine and truthful reaction to what you know to what occurred but it was intense I'll, I'll be honest that was an intense day yeah, I can imagine. And, and you know, look, he's, well, he's just turned 22, but I, which, which just boggles my mind because to me, he just seems like an older soul. You know, he just seems older. I, I don't know um, if you feel the same way. Yeah. I, it, it floored me to realize that the guy is 20, 21 going on this tour um, and how much responsibility is on his shoulders, you know, not just to present to his fans and, and make yeah. the best experience for them, but all the people around him who rely on a paycheck, whatever, um, that's a big deal for a 21 year old Huge. kid. Huge. In fact, you, you said something how, uh, how he, he seems so wise, you know, when I met Sean, I was struck by how articulate he is. He's so eloquent in how he speaks and how he conveys his emotions. And for a young person, I mean, really young, it's it's inspiring, but you're right. You know, when Sean cancels a show, it's not just him. Yeah. It's hundreds of people who lose, not just the fans, but it's it's the people who work for the tour. And, and there's so much responsibility every 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 night. I feel like there's a weight on your shoulders in his case, and I think hopefully that sequence illuminates um, or you know illustrates some of the some of the weight that he. Um, undergoes on a daily basis.
Yeah, it's, it's insane. And it's also interesting to see too how open he was about his relationship with Camilla because, you know, a lot of times, you know, again, another big star in the spotlight, uh, the two of them are making music together. Uh, they're very, you know, they have a very intense relationship. Um, but she was very open to it too. Like, was she, was she immediately when Sean said, let's do this, was she was like, you know, or was she say, okay, you know, you can shoot everything about me as well. You know, it's funny, we never had any conversations about what was on, you know, off limits or on limits. It was yeah. just one day we were supposed to film and she was with them and we just went in and started filming. You know, it wasn't like there, there wasn't, uh, she was, she seemed to be very um, uh, gracious to us, the film crew. Yeah. Um, and, you know, if we're making a Shawn Mendes documentary and she's in his life, she's going to have to be in the movie. And that was yeah. sort of how we approached it, you know. Yeah, um, and I, the fans too, you know, like I say, when you go back and you, you think about, you know, heartthrobs, people you love or growing up or whatever it is, but to watch the intensity of the fans, you know, how much fans love him, yeah. support him. Um, wow, it, it just truly really is amazing to watch this all in the documentary. So we've seen a lot of docs where you see this sort of the mania of fans, right? And I wanted to just all, I wanted to, obviously there is that, but I was more interested in like the emotion of the fans. Like you really see them crying. You see that it's not just this, like, it's not just, you know, a love and obsession. There's a, there's a real deeper connection there. Yeah. So I think showing more of the emotion that he, that they have together and that relationship I thought was unique. And I, I hopefully captured some of that. Oh, yeah, you sure did. <laughs> um, you know, and I also love the fact that how excited Sean got about being able to play hometown, you know, Roger Center. He, you know, he played all over the world, all of these amazing countries that he goes to. But what, you know, what struck him most was to be able to play at home. That to me is just fantastic. I don't know yeah. how you felt about that, but amazing. Oh yeah, I love that. I mean, it was, it's again, it's like, I felt privileged to, to watch someone, you know, realize their dreams in real time. You yeah. know, like it, it was a really rewarding experience for me because you see how much it means to him and how hard he's worked. I mean, right before that Rogers Center uh, uh, sequence in the film, you see the manifestation journal, you see all the things that he's, he's worked everything for this moment. So I was very, it was very grateful to be able to include that in the movie. Yeah. What's it like to go on stage? You know, he's in front of, I don't know, how many people? 50,000 people are in the stadiums? Like, these are stadium yeah. tours. We're not talking, you know, Massey Hall here or whatever. But, um, and, and you're kind of, he goes out on stage and you can see how thankful and grateful he is when he looks out. I love that because um, he doesn't take it for granted. But what's it like for you to kind of be behind him and get out there and see all these people in the audience? It's crazy. <laughs> Uh, sometimes it was me, sometimes it was uh, the cinematographer Adam Newport Barra. Uh, I think in one instance it was my producer Saul Germain. I mean, uh, the study cam operator. We've had a, a, a few different people be on stage with him. Yeah. Uh, when I was on stage, it's crazy. It's crazy <laughs> because it's like, you know, I'm not going to have that opportunity many times in my life, you know, to be on stage and all those people. It is a, it is a euphoric feeling and you, you know, in that moment, I think you realize, because obviously Sean has a lot of gratitude, right? You yeah. see that in the movie. He's not like, he's not pompous. He doesn't take, he doesn't take this for granted. And he, he's very um, appreciative and present. And I think that when you're, in, when I was on stage with him, uh, it's just, a, it's an amazing, it's like a high. It's an amazing yeah. feeling. And, uh, you know, yeah, it's, it's uh, something I won't forget. I'm sure I love to, um, and, and I would think that this would uh, contribute to his being so grounded. What a great family. You know, like when he goes home and we see that whole sequence when he goes home and he's just lying in the field and how appreciative he is of just those moments when he can be like that. But then when he spends the time, like his mom and his dad, his sister, they're so loving to him. And, and I would think contribute to his being grounded. I, I agree. I think that you know, one of the first things that I talked about with Sean, which was that, you know, he is a pop star, but I don't want this to be a film about a pop star. I want yeah. to be this to be a film about a kid growing up. So we focused on all the stuff that I think is relatable to everyone, sure. uh, which are, you know, 
these stories about family and you know growing up and 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 and, and you know Sean when I met him was 20 years old he was so young I mean he still is young but like you know uh so yeah seeing his family I thought was just great and just uh and just witnessing um you know the the things that that he really feels and his experiences. And again, like, I think that the film, I really wanted the film to feel as though it exists in his world. You know, films have atmosphere, they have feeling. I think there's like a sweetness and a sincerity and authenticity to, to the way the film feels because it should feel the way Sean's music makes you feel, yeah. you know? And I think that I wanted, I wanted it, I didn't want it to feel like it was um, like, how do I explain this? Uh, well, I just think, genuine, like a genuine feel. Like a, yeah, a genuine yeah. feeling, you know, and 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 and, uh, and yeah, I think that those sequences, in particular, when he takes us to the to the soccer field, to his, his high school, to yeah. his uh, his to his childhood bedroom where he record all those vines, yeah, just like, really beautiful glimpses into his life, you know. Yeah. What was the reaction after you finished this and he sat down and watched it? What was his reaction to it? You know, it was crazy because. Um, we we finished filming before the pandemic but uh so we weren't able to to be in the same room you know like like either he'd send him a cut and, and then he'd call me or face me and he'd be like wow you know uh so i wasn't able to to see his reaction in person but i i he was he was really pleased and i think that um he felt like you know, there's a lot of responsibility when you're making a portrait of someone. You want yeah. to feel like you do them justice, you do the fans justice, you do people who aren't fans justice. But at the same time, it's like, you know, he's just at the beginning of his career. You know, there's a lot of weight. I want to make sure that he felt like he could be safe with me. Right. That I was, you know, that I wasn't trying to be vindictive or, or, or anything like that because I'm not. Um, so I was grateful that he responded well to the film and he felt like I did a good job. So it was a good feeling. Yeah, no, that's amazing. And lastly, I want to ask you from the beginning of meeting Sean to spending all that time up until now, what's your opinion of him? Like what, did anything change? And, and you know, what impressed you most about this kid? So it's funny. I, I think that especially musicians and pop stars, they, they, they live so much in two to three weeks. So sometimes if you don't see them within a month, they like, they look different. They, they, not that they act different, but like they live so much life compared to most people because of the experiences that they have every single day. But when I met John, the first thing that struck me was that, oh wow, this guy's got character. He's, he's, he's like a decent, good guy. He's got integrity. And that struck me right away. I knew that from the moment we met. And that's actually one of the reasons why I was interested in doing the movie. It was like, okay, I could spend a year of my life with this guy. Mm -hmm. What I learned about him now is that he is a good person, like straight up, true, good guy. And uh, I don't know if that's, it's not necessarily something I learned because I, I, I felt it the moment we met, but after spending all this time with him, I do feel that way. He's a, he's a great person. Yeah, it solidified it for you pretty it much. It solidified, and he's, he's yeah. so incredibly talented. Uh, and I'm just, I'm just excited for all the things he's gonna do in his career. Yeah, well, yeah, he's, he's young. He's got a, a, a big career ahead of him. I don't doubt yeah. that, but I, you did a great job on this. I wanna congratulate thank you. you. And uh, thank you so much for your time this morning. Very much appreciated. I know we are- What about the shadow on my face? The sun oh, is- that's in. fine. You know what? In this era, who cares what we look like? Whatever, it is what it is. I appreciate you taking the time to talk about it. And congratulations, you did a great thank job on so the doc. Nice to meet you. Take care. Really okay, bye-bye.